Hello everyone, welcome to this video on session 21, which is lab 6. So we're going to work through two topics, which is time series decomposition and combining forecasts using forecast X. In this video, we're going to use VLAB in order to work with the forecast X. Uh, so use your credentials, NSID and password to log into VLAB. Then you can go to AdWords, left hand side, and here's the Excel. So let's open Excel. And in order to access uh, the files through VLAB, your file needs to be on uh, on your home drive. So in order to upload files on your home drive, we're going to go to cabinet. Once you're on cabinet, uh, you will land into the file browser. So in order to upload files to cabinet, we're going to right click and upload files. Click on add. So in my case, my files are in this particular folder, so I'm going to upload session 21 lab 6 dataset. So you'll have, have this file available through Blackboard. Okay, so I'm going to upload here. Close. The file is available. In my case, I have folder number 22. So make sure you know which folder you're uploading it to. So we have Excel available now uh, through, through VLAB. Again, in add-ins, you have Forecast X. So by default, I'm expecting that it will be available on all of your machines. Otherwise, you can go to Options, then Add-ins, Calm Add-ins. You have Forecast X. So check it, press OK. You should be able to see Forecast X under Add-ins option, right? But by default, I'm expecting that it should be here. Let's open the file. In my case, I'm going to go to Session 22. If we go to this PC, so in VLAB you will see Cabinet V instead of Home Home Drive. Let's go to that. In my case, my files are under this Session 22 folder, so I'm going to open uh, this file. So in this file, we have two sheets. Our very first sheet is the data set uh, that we use for the multiple causal regression. And the second file, which is modified data set, so I have kind of copied uh, period and number of accepted patients so that we can work with like Winters model and other models where we need the reduced data set. We don't need dummy variables and so on, right? Okay, so uh, let's look at very first question that we have uh, in the Word document. So here's the first question. So in question one, forecast number of accepted patients by the following models and fill out the table. Which model do you prefer? Justify your answer, right? So we want to forecast using four different models, Winters model, time series decomposition, linear regression, and multiple causal regression. So I will not go through uh, Winters model and linear regression, but I'm going to show you time series decomposition and multiple causal regression. So let's go with the multiple causal regression uh, to generate the first forecast. So let's click on period, cell A1, go to add-ins, forecast. And in this case, we're going to use all the uh, available parameters we have. Okay, so periodicity is monthly, that's fine. Data is organized in columns. We have labels, forecast method, multiple regression, and our dependent series is number of accepted patients. Make sure in the audit report, you have fitted values table checked. And we have audit table, uh, sorry, audit report checked as well. So under statistics, we have MAP uh, because we're going to look into MAP value. And let's go to more statistics. And under accuracy, make sure root mean square error is checked and tells U is checked as well because those are the results we're going to look into. And you can uncheck other things because at the moment we're not using those, but you can keep the default settings. So let's click on finish. View output. So this is my regression model for number of accepted patients. And we have tells u value as 0 0.48 and MAP 10.63, root mean square error 394.98. We'll call it multiple causal linear regression. So let's minimize this. The next thing is let's do the time series decomposition. In time series decomposition, you don't need to have all these dummy variables 
or the number of walk-in clinics and so on. Remember we want to take centered moving average. From centered moving average we're going to calculate seasonal factors then seasonal indices and then we're using linear regression to calculate the trend component and from trend we are getting CF cycle factor. So that's why we need to use this modified data set where we have period and number of accepted patients. Okay so let's go to forecast and in this case yes our data is organized in columns monthly labels in the very first row forecast method decomposition in forecast x added parameters and decomposition method we're going to use here is the trend regression the so cf will be calculated based on trend regression right or the linear regression and type is the multiplicative and we have everything uh, selected in reports. Make sure the fitted value table is selected. Let's finish this. View output. Let's scroll down to have a look at what we got here. Oh, tiles U is 0 0.35. Root mean square R3, 26.08. And then we have MAPE around 8.36 so which is better than causal regression and if you look here under components of decomposition so that's where you're going to get uh, the information on time series components this is my original data set here's the centered moving average right so starting from one two three four five six and seven from august right is 12 months so your center moving average is going to start from period 7 time series each year has 12 months so my first CMA is going to be from period 7 trend component is coming from the linear trend equation you can deploy I mean use Excel and walk through the manual process using this data set uh, so your values should come very close to what we have here for the seasonal indices cycle factor and and CMA trend and so on so here what you have as a complete solution for the uh, question number one right uh, so give it a go and compare your answers here uh, if you have any questions uh, let me know drop me an email